Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching the Daily Roundup with Nina. It's time for our hashtag WCW. Now, Hermin Elago uses her words to evoke change wherever she goes. She's a professional speaker, MC and host, and a speaking coach. This phenomenal lady is the epitome of the phrase, you can be whatever you set your mind to, and today we celebrate her as our Women Crush Wednesday. Hermine, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm really, really good. As you were, as you were reading that, I was thinking, I've never been anyone's Women Crush Wednesday. <laughs> so, Not that you've seen, because I'm sure you have been. <laughs> no, but the great thing is I get to be the daily roundups. So I, that's, I just feel like I jumped a whole lot of levels. Yeah, you yeah. did actually. <laughs> Before we get into our conversation yes. this evening, I've only ever seen you via social media. Yeah. And I saw you today as we were getting our makeup done and I thought, wow, she's shorter in person than I expected. I Do you get that a lot? I get that all the time. <laughs> I get that all the time. And I think it's because I've, I've developed and maybe created such a large online yes. personality yes. that people expect bigness from me generally. <laughs> so I always get you are very, very short, but I'm, I'm unexpected and that's okay. And dynamite <laughs> comes in small packages anyway. That's it. <laughs> I mean, you've been on an incredib incredible journey of transformation, mm. both inward and outwardly. Uh, talk to us about how and when this began for you. Okay, I would say that it's probably just been lifelong. Mm. But to pinpoint a date, I would probably say the 1st of September 2013. And that was a date where I stepped onto the scale and I'd reached the triple digits. Mm -hmm. And I knew it was coming. I could see it coming. My behavior was supporting it. Um, I w I'm... I like to say recovered, emotional, um, and compulsive binge eater. Mm -hmm. And these are all things that weren't really spoke about, spoken about in Namibia for the longest time. So you just start to think you're a bad person and that there's something wrong with you and that you're, pro you're possibly broken. Mm. But there's just, there just was no language around that said, you know, that there is binge and emotional eating, you yeah. know, that there is childhood wounding, that yeah. there are there's things that we experience in life that cause us to behave in a very self-sabotaging way. And so I just decided that day that if I don't stop now, I am going to wreck my own life. Mm. And if I got myself here, I would have to be the one to save me. Yeah, Superman yeah. is not coming to save me. You are you your know. own savior. Yeah. And I think that the human journey is really that. Yeah. It's, it's finding that home within you and walking yourself back to yeah. that. Because I think it's in that place where we are most whole and... Um, wholehearted where we experience great peace and I just needed to find that again and yeah. that's been the almost nine year journey yeah yeah <laughs> as you begin to see the weight come down is that also where the trajectory of your so let's call it your new life began to take place and your confidence began to soar and you, you began to find your voice ab Absolutely, absolutely. I think from a young age, I always wanted to be a professional speaker. I always wanted to be a storyteller, but I felt like I didn't have a message. Mm. And I feel like that journey almost qualified me for some form of, you know, a message. Mm. Because I believe that lessons are universal. The same lessons that you find in fitness, you will find in finance, you will find almost everywhere. They're the same lessons. Perseverance pays. That is across the board. It's not just, you know, limited yeah, to finance yeah. or anything. Compound interest, you yes. know, if you're consistent with your health, wellness, fitness or whatever, and you compound that, compound interest pays off in big ways. So it's all of these things where you can just apply these lessons to anything. And I think that is what I focus more on the universal lessons of health and wellness and fitness mm -hmm. than I do on the aesthetics and the looks and right. all of that kind of right. stuff. Because I feel it's the lessons that people need. Because even somebody who might be struggling with alcohol is able to take the lessons that I share and apply it to that. Because lessons are universal. They're yeah. not for one specific yes. journey. Yes. Yes. And I think um, because I was really bold to share honestly in a raw manner, uh, in a way that most people aren't willing to share. People at the time weren't talking about binge eating and mm. emotional eating. I had women who were in their 40s, 50s DM me and they were like, I think that's what's been my issue. Yeah. And once you can name a demon, yes. you can vanquish it. Yes. And once you've got a name for it, you can kill it. Yes. But if you don't know what you're fighting, it's almost like you're fighting in the dark. Mm -hmm. But 
being able to know what it is that you're facing, this is why therapy is amazing, you're literally switching the lights on and you're like, oh, so it's you. Yeah. And yeah. then I can take you on. Yeah. They say that your miss is your message. Does that yes. resonate with you? Absolutely. I think that as human beings, we've got this incredible ability to turn pain into power. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I did. I took something that's been extremely painful and extremely limiting and turned it into literally power and it's become my competitive advantage, yeah. literally. And I think that if you can get through a place of moving through your pain, healing it, and then making it power, it becomes your message. Yeah. You, you spoke about having that light bulb moment mm -hmm. early and having the lights go on. When did that happen for you where you realized, wow, well, I've actually, because you had a desire, as you mentioned, yes. when you were younger to be a public speaker. Yeah. But when did that light go on to say, I've actually got the gift of the gab yeah. and this is what's <laughs> going to set me free. So... It's, this is a, like a lot of people don't believe me, but this story really, really <laughs> happened. But I used to serve at a church back in 2010. Mm -hmm. And then in 2011, they asked me if I would do announcements at church. And, um, but we were on a cycle, so it was only once a month that I would need to do it. I only started going to church that once a month so I could do the <laughs> announcements. But what happened is I had done, I had finished doing the announcements the one Sunday and, you know, church went out and you know how everybody greets and meets and, and everything afterwards. Yeah. And this man that I had never seen before, and I think I recognized and almost knew every single person in the church at this time, never seen him. He had silver hair and cargo shorts. He walked up to me and he said to me, you should consider public speaking. And I thanked him, but something happened where... All the lights went on, yeah. everything clicked, and he walked away. I hadn't seen him before that, I hadn't seen him after that, and when I described him to people, they were like, they hadn't seen him. Yeah. So I feel I was it's just incredible. touched by an angel. Yeah. I think that sometimes if you can't see your gift and it has to enter the world, it will tap you on the shoulder and yes. tell you. Like, <laughs> Definitely. That is, and I th feel like that's kind of what happened for me. Yeah. Yeah. Another hat that you wear is also that of the president of the Public Speakers Association of Namibia. Correct. Talk to us about that role that you yeah. play. Yeah. So um, I was appointed the president of PSAN, Professional Speakers Association of Namibia, last year. And um, it's been around for quite a few years. It was started by a gentleman called Dr. Gustav Schoes, who now speaks and works in South Africa. But he is Namibian by birth. And um, so basically how it works is it's really open to everybody. And we've got two, three different layers, uh, whether it's student, associate, or professional. Right. And yeah, so, so you, I will definitely, yeah, you can email psanmanager at gmail.com, P-S-A-N, manager at gmail.com. It's open to everyone, and, and it's really for people who are looking to grow a yes. speaking business, yes. who really want assistance. We are connected with um, the Global Speakers Federation, which is 17, should be 19 countries now around the world, mm -hmm. all the way from America through to, I mean, we've got India even. So it's really just a wide awesome. array and you and you put into into connection with them. And it's through PSAN that in 2019, I was able to go speak in Germany. Yeah. Um, so it really opens doors yes. and it helps you yes. build your speaking business because there is speaking and then there's actually being paid to speak. Yeah. And those are two different things. Yes. And yes. The, the second one is literally a business yeah. and it helps you look at what is the business of speaking, what do you need and, and awesome. equips you. Yeah. <laughs> Just lastly, Hermin, yes. how do you think, you know, your gift of storytelling, because you really do have a gift for it, um, you know, impacts the lives of people that you come across on a daily and, and, and over the years? I think that um, as a professional storyteller and, as, and a professional story listener, mm. because the best storytellers are the people who listen to the world and who pay attention to what's happening around them and pay attention to other people. Um, they, and you know, you're constantly listening and I've learned two lessons. The first thing is all everyone wants is a non-judgmental witness yes. to their ex existence. That's the first lesson that I learned. And the second lesson is, you know, people really just want to be heard and they want space for that. Yes. So I'm learning to actually listen more 
so I can speak more from that place. Yeah. And I get a lot of messages and inboxes, especially from women, but also from men, funny enough, who are just struggling um, with pain. Yeah. And I think my ability to show up in my truth and to be raw, honest, real, and vulnerable mm. and speak about the things that a lot of people feel are unspeakable, mm. you know, to speak about shame, to speak about emotional eating, to speak about failure, that seems to, for some reason, resonate with people because everybody, for, everybody experiences those things at any given time, yeah, yeah. including corporates. Yes. Because cor corporates aren't made up of buildings. They're made up of, of a people. whole lot of people <laughs> inside the right. building. And there are people every single day coming in. And if your people are coming in bearing shame and all of this kind of stuff, and you as a company are not looking at that, and they're yeah. there for eight hours a day, and you're not looking at at least working to alleviate some of that, you're not getting the best out of your mm. people. Yeah. And so, so my primary client is corporates, but I also, I, I feel like I like sharing my gift freely for individuals yeah. because, yeah. Thank you so much, Elmi. Thank, Thank you. you. I feel like Thank I just you. spoke a whole lot. You did and we enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And Thank all the best you. with your future endeavors. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Thank you Thank for having you. me. <laughs> that was Hermin and Lago speaking to us. We'll be right back after the short break.